So in this video, I wanna cover the SLP for the Ford keys. So always for Ford, think of Ford first. You're always gonna start with the new key and that's gonna apply for the bladed keys, the turn keys, the combos. So if we have a blade like a 600, we're going to cut it first and then program. Pretty simple. You want to cut it first, put, their, put the new key in, follow the Smart Pro, simple, and you're done. Now, if it's going to be a combo key like so, if it's a cert key, it's going to be all together. All together. Can't even spell together, geez. And if it's an SK, it's gonna be separate. That's gonna be Keyblade and Remote, which is manual. Now, if we have like say a 31 or a 41 combo, you wanna program Remote first First, then cut and program blade. So you wanna program this first, make sure it works. Sometimes with the high securities, the remotes do not connect to the vehicle or there's a vehicle issue. So if you cut this and you program the mobilizer, it doesn't work, it doesn't, you can't create a sale. So you wanna program this first, no harm, no foul. And you can do the same thing with SKs, but SKs are always tried and true. Cert keys, you gotta program all together. Now, say if it doesn't work, or if it has too many, for these, you can have four. You can erase and add. So if they have like four and they wanna add another one, that would be fifth. You can't, you gotta erase and add, simple. Now, if we have prox keys, oh, this is a combo key. It's technically a blade combo, so you want to think of this as a cert all together. So you're going to cut and program all together. Start with the first new key and you're good. For the prox keys, you wanna program, then cut. The thing is prox slots. You wanna look where those are in the vehicle. You usually have one to three options. You can look on Google, you can look on owner's manual, it'll show you. A trick that I've noticed on the Ford F-150s and 250s is you have one for reading the transponder if it's a battery dead and one for programming. It'll say failed, take it out, put it in the other slot and it'll say successful. So you're gonna look for a shape like that in the vehicle, or if it's drop down like that. Same thing for these, you're gonna find those in the vehicle. Again, Google will show you the owner's manual, pretty straightforward, and also with experience, you're gonna know where to look for those, simple and easy. So that's how we do the Fords. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, see you next time, bye.